IUCN Project Liaison Officer uh, here in Vanuatu, uh, looking after um, IUCN's marine program project uh, as well as uh, its uh, critical ecosystem partnership fund project. I work with the Department of Environment, Foreign Affairs, and a number, number of stakeholders. And this is my 555. Question one What inspired you to get into this line of work? Um, I have to say that uh, my parents played a large part of that. They always encouraged me to uh, get interested or go into a field that you're interested in. Um, so for myself, it's always been a passion. I love uh, nature, the environment. Uh, uh, yeah, just a uh, good example, just uh, you go out today in this uh, paradise that we call home and just see breathing in the fresh air, seeing the blue ocean, uh, the trees and wildlife. That's just, yeah, for me, for me that's just the passion that I have. And that's what gets me going into this line of work. Um, yeah, funnily enough, also another role model of mine was uh, Sir David Attenborough. So thanks, Sir David. <laughs> Living Planet, and you got to be on this uh, job. Number two, what does your day-to-day -day work consist of? A lot of uh, uh, desktop work, working on the computer, uh, writing a lot of reports, but uh, what gets me uh, uh, going a lot is, uh, what I really like sometimes highlights the work, is going out of communities, doing consultations, like uh, Marine Spatial Planning or Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund. I'm working with uh, CBOs, NGOs, how they are dealing with uh, working with biodiversity and conservation. Um, uh, number three, what is the most disheartening thing you have to, to deal with? I just have to say um, laziness from uh, uh, people in general, being careless, ignorant, uh, pollution, throwing uh, being careless, like just throwing uh, rubbish someplace. Although we've, I made a lot of, uh, we've got our bans in place for single-use plastic bags and also littering laws in place here in Villa. So, uh, but still people do that. So that's a bit uh, disheartening. But uh, uh, in general, um, yeah, uh, this comes out to people generally and how they uh, behave and care for the environment. Um, what gives you the most reason for optimism? I think, uh, I think uh, for Vanuatu, um, for Vanuatu, it's just, uh, I think, uh, working in this field, this sector, for about uh, 10 years now, and seeing the change that's developed for Vanuatu, the uh, proactive approach and being innovative that uh, the government's been taking and the people as well, the initiative uh, is uh, very optimistic for me. Uh, for example, the uh, marine spatial plan that we're doing, we're the first country in the Pacific, we have our own oceans policy in which specified our MSP, marine spatial planning, and so we're hopefully going to get one by 2020 in which we've zoned out, got a spatial plan for the entire marine uh, EEZ of Vanuatu. So that in itself is quite a big accomplishment and uh, uh, one that we look forward to. Also in my other work, CPF, working in the numerous CSOs and CBOs um, uh, that we fund to help uh, them uh, do take actions to protect our endangered species. Uh, uh, so that, yeah. Um, that's uh, what's inspiring a lot. And uh, for number five, if you can change one thing in any sphere to help protect our biodiversity and the environment, what would it be? Just uh, for people to work together. Um, or take on what is an example. Uh, the government wants to work with the people, the people and the communities, the culture they have, 
have a lot of, a lot of lessons to teach our government. At the same time, the government has a lot of lessons they can teach the people. So if everyone just works in harmony and comes together, uh, we can make this world a better place. Uh, here in Vanuatu and also uh, around the world. So I think that's my uh, five by five.